Today we're heading back to Tulsa, Oklahoma. Our assignment is to hang two new house speakers in a church auditorium. We'll be using the Electro Voice EV ZX1i. The I is the install version. Now in this auditorium, it has a drop tile ceiling. Typically that would cause us rigging issues because we have to take the weight of the speaker and tie it back to a structural hanging point. But in this video, I wanna show you how I will hang this 20 pound speaker using the ceiling grid as my hanging point. certain they were all going on. I think you're correct. Okay, so just as a reminder, this piece of plywood is cut just a hair smaller okay. than your ceiling tile. And the whole point is we're gonna put that SAM bracket 12 inches off the back of your tile, centered okay. on the tile. And then we'll run screws through the tile, cause this isn't structural, into the plywood and the plywood will be structural, structural, and so the plywood will rest on all three sides here. Gotcha. And then if we have to, we'll then, through the grid, screw the plywood to the grid just to lock everything in place. Okay. So I'll do all the layout um, that we need, and then we'll actually mount the bracket on the floor, and then we'll hang this tile in place. So we're gonna come off 12 inches from the back. There's 12 inches there from that side, and there's 12 inches right there. I'm gonna pre-drill the holes for the mounting hardware. Now I'm drawing it very light, and then I'll be able to come back with those uh, wipes and be able to take off that, that pencil mark. So again, this is called the SAM bracket, the strong, strong arm mounting. Okay, so there are the spots where I'm gonna pre-drill for the screws. Okay, so there are our mounting holes. Okay, so I just barely started to pucker that, mm -hmm. see it? that right there. I'm gonna come back with my eraser. <laughs> well, I got a little, uh, little wild on that pencil line. What's that? Lieutenant O'Reilly. So again, this is not a um, anti-theft device. This is an anti-lawsuit device. That'll be long enough there. So I'll put one swedge on it crimp it down here, make a loop out of it, crimp it down here, and then I'll just go around one of those purlins up top. Okay. And then feed that through the opening. Okay. 
before we uh, send it up top, we're actually gonna change the angle of the horn. So if we laid it like this, or oriented like this 90 wide, it's gonna cover almost the whole section up close and 40 this way. Mm -hmm. So if we lay it on its side, as is, we're gonna be 40 this way, but we're gonna be 90 this way. So we're gonna be putting too much sound up and down. So one of the nice things about these little speakers is they have a ro rotatable horn that uh, we will take full advantage of. So there's our rotatable horn. Okay. I mean, th this is a punchy, punchy eight inch wolf. It's ported. Okay. So you can see right here, 50, okay, so I'm sorry, it's 50 by 90. Okay. And it doesn't matter which way you rotate the horn. There we go. Gotcha. So now, uh, we'll have the 90 degrees on the horizontal rather than on the vertical. Okay, so we're gonna put this back in place. And then those two screws will hold that grill from rattling and it will also push it out, pushes the grill down and puts pressure all the way around. Okay. Now, Take off the little protective coating. How are we orienting? Okay. So the speaker will lay just like that. There you go. So there is no way to undo these swedges. Mm -hmm. It's up there, but if you need to take this down for whatever reason, just cut it. This Phoenix connector is just like any other connector. When we clamp down on the conductor, we don't want to be clamping on the insulation. We want to be on the actual copper conductor. That's how we do that. 